Half-Life Lawn says, what does a potassium deficiency look like? Now, uh, let me go back to PowerPoint real quick, and I'm going to draw this out. I'm going to explain this real quickly, and I, at least it'll help, I think. Okay, so let me pull this up, and I'm going to describe and draw out exactly what a potassium deficiency looked like. What I'm looking at here is a photograph I put on the, on the members community tab of some Bermuda grass. Now, on this photograph, I'm looking at, for those listening, I'm, I'm looking at a photograph of some Bermuda grass that I was growing in in South Florida. And you see these long runners of Bermuda grass, where you see a long stolen, or a long runner, and then it has a node here where there's a little root going, actually that might even be the root right there going down. And then you'll see it branch off and another runner go out from there. Okay, this is all very common. You guys have seen this a thousand times. So what I'm what I'm what I'm wanting to draw people's attention to is this node right here, where there's a there's a stem coming off of it, going directly up um, on the north or straight up on the picture. Now this when when the when that leaf goes out, when that stem goes out, it's going to put us it's going to put a runner out, and then it's going to put a leaf out, which is this first leaf right here. Okay, then it's going to put another then that that shoot is going to go straight out, and it's going to put another leaf out right here. This is the second leaf. And then it goes up. This is the third leaf. It goes up. This is the fourth leaf. This is the fifth leaf. This right here is the sixth leaf. And then look right inside here, the, the, inside the sheath, inside the, the, the highest leaf here. There's another tiny little leaf coming out of the point. That's the next leaf in order. Okay. So let me, so that's the way that grasses grow. There's a, there's a shoot that comes out and then a leaf comes off and then another leaf comes up for the, through that leaf and then it goes off to the side and so forth. Okay. I want to make sure that's clear. Here on the, on the left of this, you'll see it even clearer where you see one leaf come off right here, and then there's another leaf comes off right here, and then it goes up a little bit more, and another leaf, and so forth. So I want to make sure everybody understands how the grass grows, because believe it or not, there's, there's some people, and some professionals, really intelligent people, they don't really understand how the grass grows. There's a, there's a root and a, and a stolen in the ground right over here, and then this long runner goes out and then it puts out another root, and then a long runner goes out and it puts out another root. And each one of these is an individual plant. If you cut this off and you cut it off here, the plant in the middle is still going to live, okay? Because there's a root there. And so the reason I'm mentioning all that ex explanation and description is because if you're going to identify potassium deficiency, the easiest way to do it is to look at the oldest leaf first. So on this example, I'm going to use this leaf right here. On this example, this is the oldest leaf on that stem. If that leaf is solid green and the next leaf up here, whoops, the next leaf up here, uh oh, lose my, lose my mind here. The next leaf up here is the same color. It's solid green. The next leaf is solid green. The next leaf is solid green. And so far, everything's green, 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 green. You don't have a potassium deficiency. Look at here. This, this leaf's green, this leaf's green, that leaf's green, that leaf, they all look kind of the same. You probably don't have a potassium deficiency. Okay. Look over here on, look over here on these leaves. This, this leaf here is green. I, you, know, you can't see the next leaf up, but here, oh, here's, here's a leaf that's green. There's no um, discernible pattern in the color of green or yellow or red or purple or anything like that. It's all sort of just green. Okay, but you want to look at the oldest leaf first, which means in a sward of turf, in a lawn of turf, you might have to go in there and pull a runner out. And you want to work your way back to the oldest leaf and look at that oldest leaf and compare it to some of the newer leaves. If they're similar in color, there's almost no chance you have a potassium deficiency. Okay. The reason for that is, is that potassium is mobile in the plant. And when the new leaf comes out, it, de it demands nutrients and it's going to pull nutrients where it can. And it's going to take that from older leaves, translocate that potassium from the older leaves. And it's going to translate it in that into the newer leaves where the demand is greatest for potassium. Okay. As opposed to something like iron, where iron is not movable in the plant. You're not going to see iron deficient on the older leaves first. You're going to see iron deficient on the newest leaves first, because when, where there's a great demand for iron, it's trying, it, would, it would prefer to pull it from the older leaves, but it can't. So the newer leaves end up being deficient in iron. But potassium, it can remove it from the older leaves, and so it does, and the, and the, and the deficiency occurs on the oldest leaves first. And when you have a potassium deficiency, you can, you can bet the farm that it's going to be that way on damn near every stem. Every oldest leaf is going to have a deficiency that's clear. 
And you're going to pull it back and go, oh, well, Travis was right. Oh, let's look at another one. You're going to look at another one. It's going to be the same. You're going to pull, going to, going to go six inches over. You're going to pull. It's going to be the same. The oldest leaf will have the description. It's going to look like what I'm going to draw in just the next slide. Now, what does it look like? Let me draw it out. So I'm going to try my best to draw a leaf. Um, the leaf is going to be chlorotic on the tips and on the margins first. So that's what I'm going to do my best here to draw is the the tip and the the leaf margins are going to be chlorotic where the end their inner part of the leaf as I'd say this is the let's say this is well I should have drawn it just say this is the, the the stem here down here okay so this is my this is my crude drawing <laughs> of a leaf so the yellow part um is the outer margin of the leaf. And here's the tip up here, okay guys? And what you'll see is, you'll see the yellowing be all in these, these areas here. This will all be a little bit chlorotic along the margins and at the tip, okay? And it'll fade from the margins inward towards the middle of the leaf. It'll fade from yellow to green. And the, in the middle, in, in, under, under incipient potassium stress. Okay, the middle part here will all, this will all be sort of greenish. This will be the in, inner part of the leaf, and this will all be greenish. And, the, and this will be fading in from yellow to green uh, in, in, during initial incipient potassium stresses. During it, when, when it, if it continues, and potassium stress continues and continues, and the newer leaves continue to emerge, it's going to continue to pull that potassium out. The tips will start to die back. So the, the, it'll be exacerbated. The, the majority of the damage and the, the currents will occur up here at the tip. That's where you'll see this. It'll actually start to turn a different color. It'll actually start to turn like a brownish, golden brownish color. It'll start to fade and, and desiccate, basically what it'll be. So the tip will start to die back and under severe cases. And then eventually it'll die back from the margins inward, essentially. Okay. So that's what to look for. Oldest leaves will look similar to this and it won't be one oldest leaf and then maybe you find another oldest leaf it'll be every oldest leaf it'll every single 99% of leaves if you have potassium deficiency the oldest leaves will have chlor chlorosis from the margins inward and it'll fade into lighter lighter uh, greener and then it'll be completely green in the in the middle of the rib of the of the leaf under incipient and then when it gets really really bad it'll just continue to get worse and worse on the oldest leaves.